This is a quick video over runaway reactions. So what we're going to do, we're going to graph the, the heat, and that could be heat removed or heat generated. So we're just going to say this is heat removed or generated. So the removal of the heat would be due to the cooling system, and the generation of the heat would be due to the reaction. And we're going to graph this versus temp. Temp. So as temperature increases for a system, the reaction can proceed actually faster, so the reaction rate increases. So if you increase the reaction rate, you increase the heat of ge the generation of heat. So a reaction rate on a line would look something like this. There comes a point where it just kind of jumps up. So this is the generation of heat from a reaction. So generation of heat. Now for a coolant line, assuming that you have a constant supply of water just running through at a uniform rate, if you increase the temperature of the system, you increase the amount of heat that uh, that coolant system can remove. So this would be the coolant, or the heat, heat removed. Removed. So what do we have here? So we have this line representing the heat being removed. And if you have a higher temperature difference between the coolant water and the reactants, then more heat will be removed. Now also, if you have a higher temperature, you also have a higher increase in the, in the kinetic constant, or the rate of reaction. So you also have a greater generation of heat. So we have these two points. We have point 1 and point 2. Now point one is called the stable point, so this is stable. Stable. And if you have this system, let's say you just have the system set up, if you have your reaction right here, it's generating more heat than the than the uh, coolant system is removing. So it will it actually be it will actually increase the temperature of the system. So it'll move this way, and there will come a point where it just hits this point, where if we go right here. If the system wants to try to move forward again, well now more heat is being removed than generated, so it will go back down this way. So that's why it's stable. It will always kind of bounce around this area. If it's, if the reaction starts going off, then more heat will be removed and it will go back to this one point. Now this point is the unstable point. Any point in here, if the reaction is anywhere on the, in here, in this area, or actually below this temperature, I guess it's a big thing, below this temperature, it will go back to back to point 1. However, if it goes above point 2, more heat will be generated than can be removed. And this is where we have a runaway reaction. Run away reaction. Action. And that's just because more heat is being generated than can be removed by the heating system. So this is the unstable point. Uh, unstable point. 